So she's coming now? She'll be coming any minute. I'm yeah, the advanced guard. She is what coming. Hey, it's half past nine. I think we're supposed to be at half nine, mister. Mr. Mahupe is already here. I'm trying to get everybody here before my clerk arrives. We have to, to be ready. Forbes magazine does their annual list of the 100 most powerful women in the world. When she arrived at UNDP, she was number 61. Now she's number 23. And that's based on her position at UNDP, but also the kind of person she is and the issue she's advocating on. Oh, this is you. This is me. We need women in parliament. We need women leaders in all these political parties to bring sanity. I sometimes say no one will put a red carpet out for any of us. Did anyone ever say to me, Helen, please uh, you know, come forward and run for parliament and strive to be a minister or a prime minister? No, no red carpet was ever rolled out. You've got to knock those doors down. Right Honourable Helen Clark, former Prime Minister of New Zealand, Administrator of UNDP, and one of the most successful New Zealanders ever produced. Just sending Helen some last amendments made by our policy advisors in New York on the speech that she's going to deliver. So it's a bit last minute. What can we do to make you Secretary General? She has a lot of admirers globally, but I think now she's becoming much more of a global public figure. Increasingly, she's one to watch. Well, if you didn't feel you could do anything, you might as well walk away, right? But you can do things, and that's what I say. There's always something positive you can do. Well, what I don't have a lot of tolerance for is pointless meetings, right? <laughs>